Hey friends, for this week's quick sketch, we're going to paint a blue jay. So I have my image of the blue jay. I have my little paper. I just cut a piece of um, mixed media paper um, that I really like it because it's nice and thick. Um, so I just cut a little square out of that. And then I have my colors. I have white, cadmium yellow medium, yellow ochre, ultramarine blue, magenta, and phthalo green. We're gonna take 10 minutes to do this quick sketch and see how far we get. I think I'm gonna use a um, Neocolor wax pastel to do my initial sketch. Um, for things that are a little bit more involved, like the shape of a bird, I like to sketch with something I can erase first. So if you wanna use a pencil, that's totally fine. I like using these because they just feel nice and add an, an extra color to your painting. So, okay. I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes and see how far we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the top of the Blue Jay. And I realize this image is like a little bit, maybe bigger than I want to paint it on this paper, but I feel like it's gonna, I have a hard time drawing something smaller than how it's on me reference photo. So we'll see if I can do it. Oh, he's got some interesting stripes going on here. Oh yeah, maybe I'll just go like that. That'll show him. Show, show the stripes. <laughs> okay, we're going to do his body. With a quick sketch, you're really just going for the general shape of things. You're not going to worry about belaboring the details. So he has a basic wing shape here. And a couple things like that. I feel like I may, didn't make his head quite as wide as it should be, so I'm gonna widen that just a little bit. Okay, and then he's got his tail going there with some rounder feathers there at the bottom. Okay, and then we're gonna do a foot there, foot there, and they're gonna be going around. Bird feet are always tricky because, I don't know, it's, I find it's hard to get toes to look realistic <laughs> and not like weird and not, not right. So I'm just gonna do a couple little marks. There he is, okay. So I'm gonna make, a light blue, and it's nice because ultramarine blue is the perfect blue for this bird. He is really just spot on ultramarine. So I'm gonna start by making a periwinkle kind of a color and putting it on his wing. We'll add a couple little strokes there. I'm really just trying to be sketchy. If I see the color generally filling a space, I'll go ahead and paint it, just filling the space, and then I can go over it with other colors. <laughs> yeah, he has such a funny hairdo here, feather do. <laughs> okay, that color I feel like is there a little bit somewhere. Now, I hadn't thought too much about this grayish color in him. Hmm. Okay, I am going to do white with a teeny bit of yellow ochre and we're gonna have him have, uh, I think I need to mute it with, with a little bit of ultramarine blue will make your ochre more gray. There we go. Okay. I think I just want to use this for showing sort of the textures of those white areas. It's kind of like a dirty white color. There, and I'm not gonna, okay, let's check the time. I'm not going to do too much more with that. Okay, so I just looked at six minutes still, so we're doing good. 
I make a slightly darker version of this. Ooh, it's almost like a beige sort of color now, which is fine. It's like a warm gray. I like it. I'm going to use that to kind of make his wing shape pop out a bit there. Get a bit more directional strokes because he has these interesting, like his, the feathers of his face kind of start spiking out there. Okay, I think that's good enough for the beige. Okay, let's put on some dark blue and then we'll do the black. Okay, dark blue in the wing. So I know he has this beautiful kind of intricate pattern. I'm not going to capture it in all the intricacy because we don't have time, but I'm just going to sort of hint at some of the things going on. And we can come back with the white and put some of those little white checkery parts on there. Now I'm going to use dark blue in some of these areas and we'll probably have to come back and do some black. Okay. Kind of make a medium blue somewhere in between there and create that little no gradation there. Cool. Okay. So when I'm making black, when I don't have black, ultramarine, magenta, and green in various <laughs> quantities, ratios, can create something close to black. So I just keep adding them until I see that looks pretty good. It's a little bit on the violet side, like a really dark purple, but that's okay. I'm putting it on thick enough that, I'll use it for his eye. I'm putting it on thick enough and dark enough that you really aren't gonna see that it's a dark purple. It's just gonna look like black. I'll put on his beak. I didn't really explain why I chose a blue jay. It's just because I like them. <laughs> they had, um, or we had blue jays in our backyard growing up here in San Diego. And I always just had a fun time talking with them, trying to like feed them, <laughs> just basically hanging out with the blue jays in my backyard growing up. And so I have this fond, fond memories of blue jays. Um, and so that's why I like them. Okay, so he's got this little collar. Let me check the time. Oh, three minutes. Okay. Okay, I gotta stay focused and stay quick. Stop chatting. <laughs> he's got this little collar thing around his neck with those, that band of feathers. Okay, he's got the black up in his awesome hairdo there. And then we're gonna move down to here. Yeah, this black does make a big difference. Dark, dark blue just doesn't really cut it for some of those areas. It really needs that dark to, to feel like the, it's a real blue jay color palette. Oh, there's some stuff going on here that I'm not going to really take the time to figure out. <laughs> oh no, I'm running out of black. Quick, make some more. Uh, good enough. We need it for his legs. So we'll put on his legs. Now, if I had more time, I'd probably create like, you know, highlights on the toes and all this stuff, but we don't have time for that. It's 10 minutes. Ooh, he's looking a little rough, guys. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, what does he need? He needs, in the last minute and a half, probably some white. He needs a highlight in his eye and a little bit of something. We need to come back with some white and add those details on the wing and a little bit of something on his face. His, those stripes on his face aren't looking quite right. Oh, 
Oh, and I didn't really get to that nice lighter blue. Can I get that on real quick? Those little rows of light blue I didn't put on. Well, that's gonna have to be good enough. Okay, let's see if we can, I just wanna help his eye stand out a bit more. So I think I'm just gonna create a bit of a line there. And then maybe we'll take a bit of that gray and that light blue and just try to make a highlight on his beak. There, okay. Not terrible. There he is. Oh, we still have 20 seconds. What can we do in 20 seconds? Maybe make a different light blue for his wing. I didn't really like how that turned out. There. Okay, and maybe some lighter. Okay, timer dinged, there we go. I'm pretty happy with what we got there. Um, definitely a sketch, but a fine, fine enough sketch. Um, I hope you had fun with that. And um, don't worry if you wanna work a little bit longer on it, no worries. But doing a quick sketch is uh, a really good practice for getting your eyes and your hands to work quickly together and to just sort of capture the general, um, the general shape and color palette of a thing, even if you aren't creating it in all of its details. So I hope you enjoyed that. All right. Bye for now.